Hi guys, it's Lara. Thank you all for watching and welcome back to my channel. I sound as though I was at a rock concert last night, even though I went to bed at nine o'clock and slept all night. Um, it's just because sometimes in the morning my voice gets that raspy and I woke up a few minutes ago. So anyway, today we're doing a what I eat in a day video, but it's a special one because right now I'm following a special meal plan. I have chronic gastritis, more about that in my last video. So this summer I discovered that I have a liver tumor, fortunately a benign tumor, but it's still not without risks. And I found it out because I've been having abdominal pain and that later on turned out to be chronic gastritis. It might have been just acute gastritis at the beginning, but because it hasn't been treated for so long, it might have developed into chronic gastritis. So it's a bitch. But fortunately, I have a great friend who is a nutritionist, not just some influencer turned nutritionist, but a person who actually went to university for that. So she really knows what she's doing. I bought a meal plan from her her. So she put together a list of meals for me for my current situation. So it's of course all vegan and very gentle in order to help uh, to heal my stomach. And I've been following this meal plan for over a week now and it's definitely helping. But I have to say any little deviation would send me right now back to planet uh, pain. So I have to follow it religiously. So one day I thought like, mm, I'm feeling so much better and I had a few cookies and then I had cramps again. So mm -mm. I'll stick to that plan. In addition to the meal plan, I'm taking every morning Pantaloc, which is a medication that protects the lining of my stomach. Originally, I was supposed to take it for 10 days and then my doctor wanted to talk to me again. So yesterday we talked and they said that I'm supposed to take it now for two months and then we'll see about further steps. Hopefully till then everything's gonna be better. And I think there is a pupper complaining upstairs. Shadow! I hear someone running downstairs. Good morning, Mr. Bussytail. Good morning, Mr. Bussytail. Hi, baby. He'll go shortly in the yard and then I'll get dressed and we're gonna go on a walk. It's supposed to rain, so we're gonna go on a walk only here in the area. And then I'll have my breakfast and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna have. But before we'll go, I'll have my medicine. I'm supposed to take that before I ate anything. I also have a sip of water and I'll bring one banana with me. I found out that whenever my stomach gets really empty, that's when I end up having cramps again. So I'm usually having snacks in between meals. And I also have a tonic that helps me should I get cramps again. So it's this one, it's just plant-based. It's basically just herbs and it's helped me so much over the past months. Now that I took care of Shadow, I'm gonna make myself oatmeal for breakfast. So I have here this small casserole and I'm gonna grab half a cup of oats mixed with millet and throw it in. Then I will add one and a half tablespoons goji berries. I will also add one tablespoon of flax seeds. And then I'll pour in a little bit of homemade cashew milk and I will cook this shortly. I will also add spices, so a quarter of a teaspoon of cardamom and about one teaspoon of cinnamon. 
This doesn't take long at all. All I want is for the mixture to start boiling and then I can turn the heat off. I will stir the mixture for additional 20 to 30 seconds and then I can put it into a bowl. I will top the oatmeal with cooked apples and carrots. And in order to show you how to cook these, we have to go back in time. So I'll show you how I prepared this yesterday. I have here a bowl with two sliced apples and about three grated carrots that I have here, cardamom and cinnamon and canola oil. I'm going to preheat about one or one and a half tablespoons of the canola oil in a pan. And once the oil is hot, I'm gonna throw in these apples and cook them shortly, toss them back and forth. And now I'm gonna add the carrots. And I'll stir them in and I will already reduce the heat a bit. And now I will pour in a little bit of water and I'm gonna rinse the food processor with the water first so that I get the rest of the grated carrots out. And now I'm just gonna let it simmer and if necessary I'll add a bit of water and I would say I would cook it for about 10 minutes now. At this point I'm also gonna add the spices, so a bit of cardamom and a really technical term, shitload of cinnamon, because I love cinnamon. And then I'll stir everything again and I will reduce the heat a little bit more so that it doesn't bubble so much. It's important that both the apple and the carrots are cooked uh, because of my gastritis, otherwise it would be a little bit too much for my stomach right now. This is completely sugar-free. But if you don't have gastritis, you could add a little bit of agave syrup or coconut syrup or rice syrup. And another lovely thing would be a really large teaspoon of peanut butter and stir it in. That would add a wonderful additional flavor. I let the apples with the carrots cool off a little bit and I have here these two jars. So I'm gonna fill both jars with the mixture and I'm gonna let it cool off even longer so that I can put that in the fridge. So that's how I prepared the apples and the carrots. Now I'm gonna sprinkle a bit hazelnuts on the top and then I'm gonna cover the bowl with a second plate and I'm gonna let it sit for about 10 minutes. The oatmeal is still hot but the apples and the carrots are cold because I took them from the fridge. So when I cover it and let it sit for about 10 minutes, the oatmeal will cool off, but at the same time, the apples and the carrots will be warmed up, which is great because with gastritis, you don't wanna eat anything too cold or too hot. All right, so my breakfast is ready. So I'm having the oatmeal with apples, carrots and hazelnuts on the top. My warm beverage is today honey bush tea and I added a little bit of the homemade cashew milk. I just like it when my tea tastes creamy. And instead of water, I have here homemade ginger tea. So I basically just chopped a few slices of ginger and lemon and then I poured hot water on it and let it sit for a bit and then I let it cool off and that's what I'm drinking. And of course I'm having my vitamins, especially B12 because that is necessary on vegan diet. And the best part about my breakfast is that Mr. Bushytail is keeping me company. Shadow and I are about to go to the office, but I took first some veggies out of the freezer because that's the stuff I'll need for my lunch. So these three uh, chunks, these are frozen spinach leaves and the rest is broccoli. I'm gonna put it like that in the fridge because it can thaw gently in the meantime till I'll be back at home. So now I'll go back upstairs. I will probably braid my hair because 
it would drive me nuts to have my hair down the entire day and then I'll pack my stuff and we'll be on our way to the office because I have to work. Wow, this was weird. So I was in the bathroom, I started oil pulling so that I could brush my teeth and I started doing my hair and then suddenly the light bulb above me started buzzing and all the lights went out in the entire house. I've also heard an alarm outside. I have no idea if it was a car or uh, someone's flat. That stopped about a minute ago, but the power is still out. So I have no idea what's going on. It seems that Shadow had a lot to say about all this. <laughs> anyway, we are finally ready to go. I actually also checked the power switches in our flat, but it's not just our unit. So apparently it's the entire house. So I'll uh, go to the office, then I'll check the emails and see if anyone from the house already contacted the management services. And if not, then we'll call. I just came to the office, so fortunately we have power here. I found out there is a power outage in the entire area and several houses don't have power and the house where we live is one of them. So I won't have the lunch that I planned, but I brought something else with me to the office. I'll have plain coconut yogurt with two bananas for lunch and then hopefully till the afternoon uh, the power will be back so I can cook what I planned then later. I'm back at home so the power is back on. It was out for about one and a half hours and it affected several buildings in the area. I'm still not sure what caused it but the main thing is it's back on so I don't have to eat the bananas with the coconut yogurt. I'll have my regular lunch that I planned in the first place and now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna cook it. So I have here brown basmati rice and the spinach and the broccoli and I also chopped half a zucchini. And then I have here chopped frozen garlic, so I'm gonna take about, I'd say like half a tablespoon of the chopped garlic. And then I have here the cream cheese, so this is oat paste, uh, but I don't think this is gonna be enough, so I have here another one, and I believe this is almond paste. First I'll warm up one tablespoon of canola oil in a large pan. Now I will throw in the veggies with the garlic and I will pop all shortly. And now I'll go in with vegetable broth. It's yeast free, that's important when having gastritis. And I will stir everything and let it simmer for a few minutes. I'll cover the pan up. I will also uh, reduce the heat a little bit and that needs to cook for a few minutes. This already smells amazing. I now took the lid off about two minutes later because I actually do want a little bit of the liquid to evaporate. I went in with a bit more than I should have but that's okay. So now I find that everything is cooked sufficiently, so I'm gonna add the cream cheese. So I will start with the oat-based cream cheese and see if that's gonna be enough, because I like it really creamy. But I think I'm gonna add a little bit more of the almond cream cheese, just to make the sauce a little bit thicker. And now I'm just gonna dump in the rice. So if you were looking for some very professionally, perfectly styled, uh, like professionally prepared and perfectly styled food, you got the wrong channel. I don't care that much about what my food looks like. Um, you know, if that's your thing, no shame, but I only look at the practical side and the rest is not so important for me personally. So I'm gonna stir the rice in, which will also warm the rice up. And then I'm ready to eat. All that's missing is a little bit of black pepper, which I will sprinkle on the top right away. 
And here we go, my gastritis friendly veggie pan is finished. And you guys can let me know in the comments if the look of your food is important, if you like taking time in order to style your food, or if you are like me who just dumps stuff in a pan, stirs it and it's ready to eat. Because again, there is nothing wrong with either. It's just, you know, it would be interesting for me to know what it looks like on your end. And this is the portion I'm gonna eat. I'm at this point pretty hungry. And when I'll be done with my lunch, Shadow and I will go to the Witsis. Oh, and by the way, before I forget, I got a new emergency bracelet. It came today in the mail. So it's made of steel and the color is rose gold. So it has here this staff with a snake so that it's clear that it's medical information. And it says here in the front, large liver hemangioma and then there is the ambulance number and the european europe um, emergency number and on the back side there's my full name my blood group and my husband's phone number for emergency reasons and it's really nice it's very subtle it has just this little small chain and I thought it would be nice to have something that's a little bit more subtle than this bracelet that I'm wearing. For sports, I'll definitely keep wearing this one and probably usually on daily basis. But again, this is more like for occasions where I want it to look more like jewelry and not to be like that flashy. I'm all packed and I also threw on this cute vest that I thrifted not so long ago because it is quite cold today but not cold enough for a second sweater but it's cold enough to have at least a vest and there is Mr. Bushytail because I actually just told him before I started filming that we're gonna go on a walkie so he's all excited. Mr. Bushytail has it very cuddly here in the back with his pillows and of course we have a safety belt for him. And the plan is very simple. I'm meeting my friend Jana close to the stadium and we're simply gonna go on a nice walk together with Shadow. And I'm bringing also a bag with me because I wanna collect some chestnuts for one of my upcoming projects for my DIY channel. I forgot that it's not the crack of dawn there are actually people out there so um, I wouldn't say stuck in traffic but it just takes way longer than when we normally go to the woods in the morning but fortunately I brought the bananas with me the thing is about my diet right now because I'm eating a bit less protein than what I'm used to um, I get hungry more often so I definitely have to have snacks in between so I'm usually eating bananas or some mild fruit so Christina told me I'm supposed to eat only fruits that are low in acid so that would be for example berries apricots or bananas I can eat apples but only cooked because she said that would be a little bit too much for the stomach right now so I'm almost at the traffic light so I will turn the camera off because of course I have to focus on my driving and I'll talk to you guys when we're gonna be in the woods outside even though it's cold and we were super lucky with the weather so I met Jana at the stadium I parked the car I went out with Shadow to meet her in front of the entrance and it started raining we went inside so that we could go to the toilet and by the time we were outside again it stopped raining so that's luck it's really nice there are not so many people way fewer people than what I expected and look how full my chestnut bag is so I guess that should be enough for my project.
von Buff. So we are on our way home. We've been outside for a bit over four hours, so Shadow is totally wiped out. I'm glad that I brought the two bananas with me uh, so that I could have a snack. Right now my stomach hurts. It's not bad, uh, but it's not necessarily comfortable. So when I'll be at home, I'll have then my dinner. So for dinner, I'm gonna have soup. So I'm gonna show you what soup I'll have. It's already cooked, but I can explain to you then shortly how I cooked it because it's super easy. And I'm gonna make myself probably a fennel tea and I'll take the tonic that I have uh, for my stomach because that always helps with the cramps. We are back at home. I can tell that it's full because it got already super dark. It's only shortly after six o'clock, but it's getting darker and darker. So it's time to light all the little candles everywhere in the house, which is super romantic. I do enjoy the season so, so much. And now I will first feed Shadow and then I'll warm up my soup. Here is the soup that I'm gonna have. Yesterday I made this large pot full of the soup and I had two plates. It's super easy to cook. It's basically vegetable stock with fennel, celery, carrots, potatoes and zucchini. I added a little bit of garlic, black pepper and parsley and that was it when it was cooked. I mushed the soup and that's what I'll have tonight for dinner. Shadow is finishing up his dinner. I will probably have two bowls of the soup and then I'll have fennel tea and that's gonna be it. If you have any health issues and you need help with your meal plan, I highly recommend Christina. This is not sponsored. I'm recommending her because her diet is helping me so much. So I will list all her info in the video description. And after dinner, I'll take a shower, put on my jam jams, and then Jack and I will just chill. But I'm also gonna show you what I'm making uh, for Jack. I'm making a few no crab cakes that I found recently in one of the stores. So this is what they are called. So I just put them in the oven. Normally you're supposed to fry them in a pan, but I always prefer to cook these things in the oven. Because that way it's less oily and it's definitely a bit healthier so that's gonna be it for today i hope that you guys enjoyed today's video thank you all so so much for watching i appreciate you so much god bless you and see you soon bye